How's it going guys? My name is Ron, ready to rock on and once again welcome to my channel, Rock on Ron. So for today we got some new items that we're going to install on this awesome RC, the 124019. So this is video number 4 and we got 4 items that we're going to install. So by the way, this items is focused on RC car safety or RC car protection to protect this RC from collisions or accidents to reduce the damage from uh, such accidents. Okay, awesome. So the first item that we got is this awesome metal disc brakes that also includes the 12 millimeter hex adapter on this awesome RC car for some serious stopping power. Oh, okay, awesome. So as you can see, it looks cool. It matches the color of the aluminum mags right here. It adds some cool factor to it. Awesome. And also, uh, the second item that we got is this racing spoiler. This is flexible plastic. And this one is 2 tenth scale mode and add some stickers on it to make it look more awesome. So yes, uh, this will be useful for some uh, better airflow for the RC to get this car on the ground when you're running at high speeds. It This pushes the car downwards for some downforce. Okay, awesome. So the second, uh, I mean the third item that we got is this awesome signal lights. So by the way, this signal lights is originally made for, for bicycles and I just customized this bicycle lights to with this RC car and on this video I'm going to show you how to install this car this um, awesome lights okay awesome and the fourth item that we got is this awesome LC racing bumper item code LC 6177 TC which I think is the best bumper for this car and on this video I'm going to show you how to customize this bumper to make it look better and make it function more better as well so yes, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and install these items one by one and this will be awesome. So let's get it on and let's rock on. Okay, so guys, I'm back again and now we're going to install the metallic disc brakes on this awesome RC, the 124019. So let's go ahead and take a closer look on this awesome disc brake, metallic disc brake. Okay, so this is how it looks like. So I'm going to break it to you. This this brake doesn't really provide any stopping power with it. So this is just a 12 millimeter hex that's made to look like a disc brake. Okay, so right now we're doing a, we're doing a comparison between that 12 millimeter hex and this 12 millimeter hex, which is the disc brake version. So on the other side, you will see the insertion of the pin right here. And yes, that's how it looks like. So it's too good to be true to be a disc brake. But the thing is, it still works for me in a way that it reminds you that you have an awesome car. So don't crash it and drive carefully. And it looks cool on the RC. It matches the rims on the on my alloy rims. So let's go ahead and remove the rim and we're going to install this right now. Okay, awesome. And after this, we're going to do a quick montage on how this metallic disc brakes looks like on the car when it's installed. Okay, awesome. So we're going to remove the rim right now. So yes, uh, this is how it will look like. So just like I said, this is a 12 millimeter hex right here on the middle of the rim on the disc brake. So you can ins insert it on the rim like this. And that's how it will look like. It's a 12 millimeter hex basically. But it's it looks awesome looks realistic and it does resemble like a disc brake and it matches this alley rims okay so let's go ahead and install this right now I'm going to install the washer first and install this on the car okay awesome so we're going to install it right now just one second Okay, so that's it. So I'm going back to you later and now we're going to play the montage on this metallic disc brakes. Okay, so guys, I'm back again and now we're going to do a quick comparison between the stock spoiler and the spoiler that I got from the SADA, which is one is two tenth scale spoiler. And this is how it looks like. It's almost the same size as the stock spoiler. And this looks way better than the, than the stock spoiler right here. And it's uh, it's thicker plastic and it is flexible, as you can see right here. It's almost rubbery, 
So this will not easily get bent or get cracked just in case if you crash or tumble over. This is durable. Okay, awesome. And also I'm going to inform you this spoiler does not include stickers. So I'm the one who uh, customized this spoiler to add some stickers on it. Like this Suzuki sticker right here. And this purple sticker on the sides and this strip right here. So this comes in all white color. And you can choose between uh, red, green, or yellow, and white, or blue. Uh, it is available on the Sada and I'm going to include the link on the description below of the video. So that you can buy it. So by the way, I got this for only for $4 or 200 pesos on the Sada. So yes, it is cheap and it's good. So let's go ahead and install this right now and we're going to do a quick montage on this awesome spoiler. Okay, thanks so much. Okay, so guys, I'm back again and now we're going to install the signal lights on this awesome RC, the 124019. So this is the bicycle signal light. So we're going to take a quick look on the signal light right here. This is how it looks like. And on the back of the signal light, you will see a clip right here. With this clip on. And you will see one button on this uh, signal light. So once you press this, it will turn on. And it has three versions. The one is blinking on a faster rate. And if you push it one more time, it will blink at a slower rate. And if you push it one more time, the light will stay on. And if you push it one more time, it will turn off. Okay, awesome. So by the way, this uh, signal light is powered by two AA batteries uh, right here. So it's pretty compact and it's awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and install this right now. So just like I said before, I'm going to show you how to install this signal lights on this awesome RC. So what I did, uh, a quick look on the back of this RC. So what I did right here is on the on the hole of the on the spoilers, I did added some zip ties. Uh, I don't know if you can see it right now. So it is right here. Okay, I'm holding it right now. So I just uh, looped the zip ties on the sides of the on the sides of the mount for the spoilers for this RC and just tie it and all you have to do uh, on the clip of the lights you have to clip it on so it's like it's hanging on the back of the RC just like that it's easy as that so that's how it's how it looks like when you install this awesome light okay awesome so yes uh, that's it. So let's do a quick montage on how this uh, signal light looks like. Okay guys, I'm back again and now I'm going to assemble this LC racing bumper, the LC6177PC. So if you buy this bumper, it will come in a three-piece assembly. So, as you can see right here, this is the hard foam, which will be sandwiched in between these two plastic parts on this bumper set. So, by the way, as you've noticed, this is not what it looks like when you uh, buy it first. Because I did some cutouts on the screw holes, because I just found out that this is quite a tight fit on the plastic parts. So, that's why I did some cutouts right here, to make it bend better as well. I like that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and assemble this bumper right here. So just like I said, it's easy to assemble. Just sandwich it in between these two plastic parts and put some screws on this set. So by the way, I'm going to inform you that this LC Racing bumper set does not include screws. So the toolbox that we got before, the screw set, will be useful for this assembly. So it only needs uh, three pieces of M2 screws. And if you want, it's optional if you want to add some washers. You can add some washers right here. So yes, so now I'm going to assemble this and we're going to install this on the car. I'm going back to you later. 
Okay, so guys, I'm back again and I was able to assemble this LC racing bumper. I was able to put some screws, one in the middle right here and one on each side, left and right, with some washers. And the screw holes that you see right here is for the body post. So if you, uh, for example, if you're going to upgrade the body for the 124019 for a larger body, you must put some body post right here so that the body will anchor on this body post. So it's optional. So the other side of this LC racing bumper, you will see two pieces of screw holes right here. This will this will screw on the shock towers on the RC on the 124019. And under this bumper, uh, once again you will see this two pieces of screw holes that will be screwed on the chassis itself for the for the 124019. So now we're going to install this on the car. So let's go ahead and get the car right here. So just like I said, on the front of the car, on this shock tower, you must unscrew these two pieces of screws right here. So that this uh, screw holes, uh, this will anchor on the screw holes on the uh, shock tower. And also under the chassis, on the front of the chassis, under that you will see these two pieces of screws and you need to unscrew those. And we're going to unscrew it right now to remove the stock bumper on this 124019 also by the way the stock uh, bumpers for this 124019 is just plastic and it's really small and this is the stock bumper okay so it's really small and it does not provide much coverage when you're going on a collision and also you must unscrew this uh, two pieces of screws on the shock towers so that this bumper can anchor on the shock down. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to unscrew this right now and we're going to install the bumper. Okay, so now on the front of the RC, you will see this groove right here. And the bumper will go in that groove. Uh, this piece right here. This uh, piece with the screw, two screw holes and we're going to insert it right now. Okay, so we're going to install this. Okay, so as you can see, this perfect fit. It just slide in uh, right there, and all you have to do is put the screw back, the screws back on this uh, chassis, and the two pieces of screws on the shaft tower. And after that, we're good to go. So now we're going to do a quick montage on how this looks like, and I'm gonna show you uh, right now. So. On the top view, this is how it looks like, and we're going to do a 360 view for this LC racing ball. Okay, so guys, we're back again, and you just saw that it looks way better than the stock hard foam on this LC Racing bumper, the hula hoop version. Okay, awesome. So, also, I got some different colors on this hula hoop version. So, since the hula hoop has uh, multiple colors on it, I can use uh, different color combinations. I can use yellow, pink, purple, or green. So, right now, what I did is uh, I choose this pink color. And this purple one to match the color of the RC. So now I'm going to install this uh, the pink colored hula hoop uh, piece and we're going to do a quick montage once again on how this looks like. Okay so a purple and pink it matches the color of this awesome RC card the uh, 124019. So once again all you have to do is to cut some holes on each side of this hula hoop and insert it on the poles on the plastic parts of the LC racing bump. So by the way, this whole whole piece is flexible. This is soft plastic, almost rubbery. As you can see right here, it has a flex to it, so it will absorb the impact when you're doing collisions. Uh, the same as the hard foam, I think. 
uh, plus it looks better so yes we're going to install this right now and we're going to see how it looks like and we're going to do a quick montage on this pink bumper okay awesome So guys I'm back again and I was able to show you the montage on how this pink bumper looks like on the 124019. So yes it's pretty awesome. So yes and also by the way it doesn't end right there. So you have more customization options. So since this hula hoop pieces is hollow you can insert a strip light inside this and connect it to the circuitry of the RC to make it to make this glow. So since this is a thin plastic when you insert a light on it it will glow up which will serve as a headlight as well which will be more awesome and I'm planning to do that on my future videos as well and also uh, there's more options for this LC racing bumper so if you have a garden hose a soft garden hose, garden hose just like what I got right here so what I did was I cut this garden hose uh, lengthwise on one side uh, to make it uh, compress better so that it will fit the LC racing bumper assembly and just like what I did on the hula hoop pieces I cut some holes on this uh, rubber garden hose so that it will fit the poles, the poles on this two-piece plastic bumper and all you have to do just like in the hula hoop pieces you just have to insert this poles on this on this garden hose so that it will be sandwiched in between these two pieces of plastic bumper and this is awesome because this is soft so this is nylon okay almost rubbery so this will absorb more impacts better than the foam or the same as the foam and all you have to do is sandwich it in between and this is how it will look like and you have some, if you have some bubble caps uh, small enough to fit this hose uh, which I did I found one uh, two pieces of these and I'm going to insert it on the on both of the sides of this garden hose so that it will look better okay awesome so now I'm going to install this on the RC and we're going to do a quick montage on how this looks like Okay so guys I'm back again and you were able to see the quick montage on how this bumper looks like, this custom bumper. So once again it is awesome, it's looking awesome and it's more shock absorbent than the foam because this is a rubber hose right here, rubber garden hose. And yes once again it looks more awesome compared to this foam insert because this foam insert is too big. As you can see right here when you insert this on the bumper it will look like this. It's like a axe or something but this one looks more sleek looks more compact so by the way speaking of garden hose uh, uh, garden hose customization I do have some bonus features that you can do with this garden hose so what I did is I cut some small uh, piece of garden hose and this will go to the shock tower so what I did right here is uh, just cut some two pieces of screw holes on this and this will go to the shock towers and the shocks so by the way there are two versions of those you can insert it as a one piece right uh, like this one or just like what I did this one uh, on this one this is a small rubber hose pieces inserted on this on the top of this shock tower so the reason behind that is because uh, sometimes when you're doing a jump on this awesome RC there is a possibility that this car will tumble over so the first things that's gonna hit the floor is this shock towers so to protect this shock towers from impacts you must put some protection on the top of it and this is pretty shock absorbent right here these are uh, rubber pieces right here especially if you insert it as a one piece so this is how it looks like and you can also insert it as a one piece just like what I'm doing right now so this is how it will look like if you insert it as a one piece 
garden hose on the top of the shock towers so this will absorb the impacts just in case if your car tumbles over uh, doing jumps so this is what it will look like once it hit the floor it will not be scratched or bent there's a possibility that this garden hose will absorb the impact once it tumbles over Okay, so guys, I'm back again and that wraps up our video for today. I've had fun upgrading this awesome RC card, the 124019. It's been awesome. It looks awesome. So yes, if you find this uh, video helpful and if you like what you see, hit the subscribe and the bell button and I will highly appreciate it. Thank you so much. And yes, uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. This is Ron. Rock on. Stay awesome and have a good one.